Every year more than 8 million metric tons of plastic waste enters our ocean, causing deaths of millions of marine animals. Our global consumption of plastic products is still growing exponentially, and the plastic waste doesn't just disappear, it stays there. My name is Juan Contreras, I'm from Bogota, Colombia, where we had one of the most polluted rivers in the world, the Magdalena. When I was 22, I traveled to the Pacific region deep into the Colombian jungle while working on a plastic waste management assignment for the university. I was shocked to see the magnitude of the problem there, how much plastic will gather at the shows every day, and how the local society stood without a chance to solve this problem by themselves. Today, I live in Copenhagen, Denmark where I work for Messi Weekend, a small sunglass and ski goggles startup. Through Messi Weekend, I have gained the opportunity to start making a change in my home country and actually help the cleanup of plastic waste in the remote societies and in the rivers of the Colombian jungle. In 2018, when we, uh, when we founded Messi Weekend, we, we knew that we wanted to do plastic cleanup from the ocean, but we couldn't find anyone who could do it. No, and, and then we talked to Juan. He explained to us that he had been doing this kind of plastic cleanup when he was a student back in Colombia. I think it was like after five to eight months that he already got this project up and running. We have partnered with ProArso. Our pilot project, Origenes, is focused on the very remote town of Timbiqui. Timbiqui is a prime example of how large the problem of plastic pollution has become in Colombia. It gathers tons of plastic waste all year round, both from upstream but also from the local society and its population. We have secured the cleanup of 125 tons of plastic waste before 2022 for the sales of our sunglasses and ski goggles. One pair of Messi Weekend equals 2 kilograms of collected plastic waste. It's pretty cool. We organize plastic cleanups at the beaches and down the riversides. The cleanups are volunteer driven, but also involve and engage the local community and even the Colombian military. This helps build local awareness on the effects of plastic waste and inspire them to make a change. Together, we are working on building structures needed for a full circle waste management project here in the Pacific Coast. We are today in Timbiqui, but we've identified at least 26 similar towns here in the Pacific region where we hope to expand this project as soon as possible. We are working on many different levels, directly with the local community, doing the hard work of picking the plastic, cleaning the natural environment and transporting it back to larger cities for recycling. So we are uh, looking at uh, what to do with all the recycled plastic. The challenge is really to use it for something that is not just bottles, but also everyday, like sunglasses, for example. So this is all the plastic bottles. They could have been in the Pacific Ocean. Fortunately, they got recycled. So basically, every kind of animal that lives in the ocean, they can eat all this microplastic. But what we can do is transform all this in new stuff. And this is why we are here trying to get some innovation to build new things. We are also working through workshops and art with the local communities, educating them about the danger of the plastic pollution and how can we solve this problem locally. At the moment, we are working towards getting a local warehouse facility so that we have better ways of storing the trash before it's sent to recycling. The plan is to design a full circle model that we can implement all over Colombia. To do this, we are also spending all, a lot of time working politically, engaging the Colombian government and finding the smartest ways to solidify a sustainable system. Thanks to everyone who already helped us to clean up. If you have any questions, inquiries, feel free to write us. And remember, stay cool and have a messy weekend.